Well, I love to sing my country song But there's one thing that brings me more joy That's sitting right down to your tasty meal Guess you could call me the hunting cowboy I might find it in a trailer or a restaurant Or maybe at my cousin's El Rose Should have even been known to cook it for myself Cowboy. Oh, let's eat, kids. Hello, cowpokes. It is I, the ghost of the hungry cowboy. The hungry cowboy slept in today, so I sucked his soul and stole one of his cowboy hats and a white sheet from his linen closet. And I'm here to introduce this episode of The Hungry Cowboy. And today we'll be making one of my favorites, a blood red velvet cheese ball to snack on at your Halloween party. Woo! That's today on The Hungry Cowboy. Uh, goodbye. <sighs> what a strange, strange dream I just woke up from. They were dogs, regular dogs, except they walked like this, like a, like a person would. And they had big, big lollipops that had lots of colors on them. <laughs> Strange, strange dream. Anyway, today we are making blood red velvet cheese ball here on The Hungry Cowboy. Let's get your ingredients assembled. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a great thing for Halloween parties. A little snack thing to dip uh, vanilla wafers, anything like that in. Very tasty, very fun. You're gonna be very popular at your Halloween party no matter what kind of silly costume you wear. You could even go with something as simple as a ghost. Throw a sheet over your head. That's an old one. Let's get these things together. First, from your friends at Duncan Hines or Betty Crocker, whoever, get a pack of red velvet cake mix. Take one and one half cups of that, throw it somewhere. We're gonna skip the chocolate chips for now. One half cup of powdered sugar, two tablespoons brown sugar, one stick or eight tablespoons of, you know, softened butter. And lastly, one packet, one uh, eight ounce container of room temp, kind of semi-soft cream cheese. And that's all you need to get started. And really this thing is, it's simple. You can do it with the kids, have it all ready for your Halloween party, you're gonna be a hit. I promise you that. All right, my ghosts and goblins, let's get this thing rocking and rolling. Make sure you have your friend Mixer Mixer at your side, ready to do his thing. And let's just put all this stuff in a bowl. Again, we have our one and a half cups of red velvet. Red velvet! Mm, wrong color and most assuredly wrong melody. Anyway, one and a half cups of <clears throat> red velvet, uh, half a cup powdered sugar. Mm -hmm. Let's do that one stick of softened butter and the same with our cream cheese. And then, sir, mix a lot. Ooh. Mm, almost Halloween time. Lots of Halloween songs. Well, I don't know many words of these songs. Ooh, it's turning blood red. This is gonna be fun. Mmm, you might end up at a werewolf mitzvah. Spooky scary. Ooh, this stuff is spooky scary. I love it. Mmm. In all my excitement, I forgot to mention that we also put in those two tablespoons of brown sugar. You'll just have to take my word for it. They're in there, they're all mixed together. And now we are going to take our mixture, our blood red mixture, and plop it on, ooze it onto some saran wrap. Mmm, I want to eat your blood red cake ball. I think the Count says that. The Count is creepy. He's a creeper. Get all of your blood red mix, kind of centered up because what we're gonna do here is make a big old blood ball. If we did this in a bathtub, I guess we'd be making a blood bath. Ooh, Halloween jokes. Not very good ones. Okay, centered up, good enough. Oh, that, that's just oozy and goozy and nasty. Mm, very Halloween-like. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Take your wrap and just get this guy kind of balled up. Don't overthink it. Let it look like a big old pile of brain or whatever you need to do. It's Halloween, get creative. And when you're happy, when you got this thing wrapped up, in the fridge it goes for two hours. And after that, the fun part happens. So, two hours in your refrigerator, 
I will get back to you. All right, folks, it has now been two hours. This thing has done whatever it was supposed to do for two hours. And I'm gonna be quite honest with you, this next part, it's gonna get messy. Plop her down. And if you want, throw some, a little bit of like a Pam or some kind of a, a cooking oil on your hands. Oh, it is messy, messy, messy. All right, all you need to do here, gang, is take your chocolate chips, about a half a cup of them or so, and roll them on here, get some on there. Oh, I am a dreadful, dreadful mess. Ah, ah. So I've already transferred it to its new plate. I'm just putting the finishing touches of blood all over the plate. It's not real blood, of course. It's just for effect. And what a nice effect it is. And gang, believe it or not, we're done. That's it. Now you could certainly go to the next step, the next level, and dress this thing up with some fun, oh, I don't know, like spiders or worms or it's Halloween, it's scary time, do it up. And as far as what you're gonna dip into this guy, also, at your own discretion, right now, today, because I have them on hand, my friend, Vanilla Wafer. And that's it. Let's see what we got here. This is our cheesecake, red velvet style. Blood red velvet, that is. Mmm. Oh boy. And this is what happens if it sits too long. This is a very aged blood red velvet cheese ball. It's been in my kitchen for two and a half years. And as you can see, the parasites, the worms even, have started to crawl out of it. Blood red velvet cheese ball. Mmm. And speaking of Halloween cheese balls, I am Eric Nesnick, the Hungry Cowboy. I'm younger than I look, but older than I feel. I will see you next time. It is I, the ghost of the hungry cowboy. Today, we'll be making one of my favorites, blood red devil's food. <laughs> what are we making, Bird? <laughs> Today, we'll be making one of my favorites. It's a blood red devil. <laughs> what is it? Blood red velvet cheese ball, okay. It's out of here. And today, we'll be making one of my favorites, a blood red devil. <laughs> blood red velvet cheesecake. And today, we'll be making one of my favorites, a blood red velvet ge- What is it? A blood red velvet cheesecake, cheese ball. And today, we'll be making one of my favorites, a blood red velvet cheese ball to snack on at your Halloween party, woo! Good? No, well. <laughs>